How's it going, everybody? It's Ryan Delgado again, and welcome back to my studio. And today we're talking about stage three, where we finally put some color on this sucker. So, let's talk about it. <laughs> uh. Alright, so stage three is done, and this is my first application of color. Now, you might notice, just by looking at this, even with the first layer of color on there, it still doesn't look quite finished, and that's because it isn't. So, this approach to painting that we're doing is what's known as an indirect approach, in which we build up the painting in layers of color. We allow each layer to dry before we go on to the next stage. So as you might recall, we started out with the painted drawing and allowed it to dry. Then we moved on to the grisaille and allowed it to dry. And now we have our first layer of color, which I'm allowing to dry. Now it's a bit more of a traditional academic approach to painting uh, than say the direct approach to painting, which is also known as wet into wet or a la prima. And a la prima is a, an approach to painting in which uh, it's typically done in one setting, and it's just wet into wet. You paint everything all at once. So much of what you see here is uh, going to be covered up yet again with another layer of color. And you might ask, well, okay, so then what's the point of putting down all these layers of color if they're just going to get covered up again? Well, obviously I painted over the grisaille because I didn't want a gray painting. But actually, each layer of color that I put on here is going to be gradually thinner and more transparent than the previous layer, uh, allowing for uh, each of these layers to kind of show through. And this is what really makes the indirect approach to painting so cool, and uh, it's why I love it so much. Because given that flesh itself is naturally a translucent material, uh, this will give a greater sense of realism to the painting. So let me talk about my palette now. Uh, for this first layer of color, I used what is uh, commonly referred to as the Zorn palette, uh, named after the Swedish painter Anders Zorn. And it consists of only four colors, um, black, white, yellow ochre, and vermilion. And here's a look at my palette right now. And as you can see, I have my oil medium, uh, it's called Oleo Gel. I have Titanium White, Lead White, Naples Yellow, Yellow Ochre, Vermilion, and Cold Black. And a few pre-mixtures here of Reddish Violet, Green, and Blue. Now the trick to this Zorn palette is that you want to use a cool black pigment. You want to use a cool black, uh, and the reason for that is so that you can actually mix up all your blues, your greens, and violets um, using your white, yellow ochre, and vermilion. So the black will actually serve as your blue in this case. So once again, even in this color stage, I am still thinking in terms of drawing, uh, trying to apply the correct values to the figure. So for the areas of shadow, I'm using different values of my violet, uh, green, and blue. And as I transition into the areas of halftone and light, I use a mix of yellow ochre and vermilion with lead white and a touch of the green to bring down the intensity of that color. Now the reason I use lead white is because as far as whites go, uh, it's much more of a transparent white than the titanium. And that helps with the transition between the shadows and the lights. So later on, I started using titanium white for the flush color in the areas of light, but I held back on applying the highlights in this stage. I could have put them in, but I didn't have to, especially considering I know there is still work to be done uh, with color and with applying more layers, so to put the highlights in right now is not exactly necessary. 
I also have a special technique that I want to show you guys for how I put in the highlights and I'll be doing that in the final stage of color. So stay tuned for those stages. I still have probably two more that I want to show you guys, uh, which will be the second layer of color and then probably the final stage. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will see you next time. God bless you all.